was a beautiful day out on the central coast. Plenty of sunshine out there, but that might not be the case tomorrow. This is a view from our Surfline camera of Cayucas. Let's take a look at some of the photos you guys sent us using hashtag B on KSPY. This is Anthony's view out in Orchid. Gorgeous photo there. Here's a nice shot in Templeton. We'll take your photos on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So today was a little bit cooler than what we experienced earlier in the week. New Kuyama, though, still reaching 84 degrees this afternoon. 71 today in Santa Barbara and 58 degrees in Pismo Beach. San Luis Obispo reaching 61 degrees today and 65 in Goleta. Right now in Paso Robles, 62 degrees, 56 in San Luis Obispo, 57 in Santa Maria, and 55 in Vandenberg. Our 24-hour temperature change shows most areas are cooler than this time yesterday. 10 degrees cooler in Paso Robles, 7 degrees cooler in Shandon, and 3 degrees cooler in San Luis Obispo. Winds right now are on the moderate side, but they could be strengthening as we're heading into the evening hours. 13 miles per hour right now in Paso Robles, 17 in San Luis Obispo, and 15 miles per hour in Santa Maria and Vandenberg. So our wind forecast shows that we do start to see some elevated wind activity return to the Santa Ynez Mountain area and the Santa Barbara County South Coast as soon as later this evening. Here's a look at 1 a.m. tomorrow. You can see this green and blue color here that's showing elevated wind activity that could be gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. So we don't have a wind advisory on land at this hour, but there is a chance that one could be issued tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at 6 p.m. tomorrow. We're at 12 mile power winds in Paso Robles, 11 in San Luis Obispo, 9 miles per hour in Santa Maria, and 13 miles per hour in Lompoc. You can see there's elevated wind activity out on the water as well. We do have a small craft advisory issuing early tomorrow morning throughout the afternoon. Potentials for combined seas 15 to 25 knots and combined seas 7 to 8 feet. So do keep that in mind if it, your day takes you out to the beach tomorrow. We are expecting some coastal cloud coverage though moving in later tonight. Here's a look at 1 a.m. tomorrow. Many of our coastal areas stocked in with some fog. Getting a sneak preview of some May gray activity that clears away from most areas by the afternoon, but then it makes its return again tomorrow night. It's it's a pattern that we're going to be seeing all the way through Tuesday. That might make temperatures feel a little bit cooler though as well. 78 for your high tomorrow in Paso Robles, 67 in San Luis Obispo, 63 in Santa Maria, and 65 in Lompoc. Down the coast in Carpinteria, we're looking at 62 degrees, 74 in Santa Inez, and 69 in Los Alamos. In the five cities in Nopomo, we're looking at 64 degrees, 62 in Arroyo Grande, and 62 in Pismo Beach. In the northern San Luis Obispo County in Avila Beach, 60 degrees, 57 in Morro Bay, and 57 in Cayucas. So our extended forecast, you'll see that marine layer and fog staying for the next couple of days. We get a lot of questions about what these trees icons mean. That's showing some fog returning, so may reduce visibility later tonight, early tomorrow morning. Keep that in mind with some of your Easter weekend plans. You can always check out our 10-day forecast on our app in the App Store.